Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In the next in this FAQ I want to discuss uh, do I really need software defined networking in Azure Stack HCI or can I go without it? And to be honest here, in most of the scenarios you do not require SDN. So when looking on SDN what does it give you? It gives you a network controller. It gives you a few features like firewalling, load balancer, uh, routing, a RAS gateway, and a route reflector. So in most of the scenarios, only hosting applications, Kubernetes data services, without uh, the need of tenant separation. So you have different groups of customers or departments on the same cluster not be able to communicate to each other. In those scenarios, SDN can help. In other scenarios where you do not have the requirement of tenant segregation, it just overcomplicates things because it's sometimes not supported by services like Kubernetes. Kubernetes is currently in, um, in preview and it's, for example, not supported with stretch clustering in HCI. So it overcomplicates things. It's harder to manage. Only do it if it's really required and it's, uh, and it's required if you're going for a mighty tenant environment. If you only want to separate application servers in, in different networks, you can still go for not SDN approach for using classical VLANing, which then can be configured on your switches and on the interfaces of the Vortrinix itself. So I said in most scenarios SDN does not apply in and you can go with a common network virtualization approach using VLAN tagging. Um, if you if you want to use a firewall, if you want to use load balancers, you can still use the one you have already in your data center instead of using those on from SDN or you can virtualize on the uh, firewalls or anything on top of the HCI later or on another platform or using just a PFSense or, or something um, that helps you to, um, to getting these features. So as I shortly summarized, if you use, if you need to have tenant sep uh, segregation separation, you should take a look into SDN. If you only require network separation for applications, but they're still they're not in the different tenants, and you just use, you want to use firewalling and so on, go for the classic approach with VLANs and classic firewalls or network function virtualization for firewalls, uh, load balancers, etc. So. Hopefully it helped. If you have any more questions, leave me a comment and subscribe. There will be more FAQ videos in the future. Have a great day. Have a great time. See you. Bye.